Let's talk about Avery McLeod and McCarty's transforming principle experiment. This experiment delved a bit deeper into Griffith's original transforming principle idea. Frederick Griffith set the ball rolling in 1928 when he figured out that there was something that allows one thing to transfer its genetic material to another. But it was Avery, McLeod, and McCarty who went ahead and said, let's try to figure out what that thing is. In Griffith's experiment, he took two strains of a bacteria called Streptococcus pneumoniae and injected them into rats. The first strain was covered in a polysaccharide capsule, which made it appear smooth. This smooth strain also happened to kill rats when injected. The other strain of Streptococcus pneumoniae that did not have the polysaccharide capsule appeared rough and did not kill rats when injected. Griffith took the smooth, virulent bacteria, the one that had killed rats, and heated it up quite a bit. This heating process killed the smooth strain bacteria and made it harmless to rats. However, when Griffith mixed the heat-killed, smooth strain bacteria with the non-virulent, rough bacteria, the one that did didn't kill the rats originally, and injected that mix into his rats, he was surprised to find that they all died. This gave him the idea that there was some sort of transforming principle, something that allowed the non-virulent bacteria to take the dead virulent bacteria's genetic material and kill the rat. But he wasn't sure what that something was. It was not until 16 years later in 1944 that Avery, McLeod, and McCarty performed a series of experiments that would uncover the identity of this transforming principle. They already knew that something was allowing the rough strain Streptococcus pneumoniae to transform from a non-virulent strain into a virulent strain. Remember, this means from a non killing strain to a killing strain, and they also knew there were only three macromolecules that were big enough to do this transformation, DNA, RNA, or protein. So they replicated Griffith's original experiment, but this time they added enzymes that would denature each of those three macromolecules within the smooth streptococcus pneumoniae. First, they thought the transforming principle was protein, so they added protease, an enzyme that denatures protein, to the dead smooth strain bacteria. If the transforming principle was protein, then the addition of protease would prevent the smooth strain from transferring the virulence characteristic to the rough strain. However, the addition of protease did nothing to prevent the rough strain from transforming from a non-virulent strain into a virulent one. They concluded that protein was not the transforming principle. So they tried again. This time they added RNAs, an enzyme that denatures RNA, to the smooth strain Streptococcus pneumoniae. They mixed that in with the rough strain and injected it into the rat. The RNAs also did nothing, so they concluded that the transforming principle was not RNA. Finally, they tried DNAs, an enzyme that denatures DNA. DNAs denatured the DNA in the smooth strain, so when they mixed it with the rough strain and injected it into the rat, the rat didn't die. This was very exciting because as soon as DNA was taken out of the equation, the smooth strain was no longer able to give its genetic information to the rough strain. The rough strain didn't undergo a transformation and remained harmless to the rat. This result proved to Avery, McLeod, and McCarty that DNA is the transforming principle.